Uh, this past Sunday actually marked six months since Hamas carried out an attack that resulted in the most deadly day for Jews since the Holocaust. It's been six months since Hamas broke a ceasefire to slaughter innocent people in their homes, rape women, kill children, and parade their victims through the streets. It's been six months that an unknown number of Israeli and American hostages have been held in Gaza by Hamas. But unfortunately, over the last six months, the Democrat Party has cemented its place as the pro-Hamas party. Look no further than President Biden giving Israel ceasefire ultimatums or Chuck Schumer calling for new elections in Israel. I uh, should probably be thinking about Gaza where they haven't had one since 2006. This issue is simple. It's a matter of good versus evil, and there is zero room to equivocate. So this week, House Republicans will once again give our Democrat colleagues the opportunity to correct their pro-Hamas record by voting in favor of a common sense resolution that opposes efforts to place one-sided pressure on Israel with respect to Gaza. We already saw 194 House Democrats side with Hamas by voting against critical Israel aid in November of last year. 166 of them doubled down when given the opportunity to correct their pro-Hamas record in February. I hope this time that this time has that the time that has passed has granted them the strength to stand for what is right by voting in favor of our resolution this week. Regardless of what they decide, Americans can rest assured that House Republicans' support for our strongest ally in the Middle East will not waver.